Good day ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rolo and welcome back to Pioneers of Pagonia. So uh, yeah, this will be the very very last episode in this Pioneers of Pagonia playthrough of mine for, for now. Um, since the, the latest update we've played through now and been very very enjoyable, very difficult, um, very challenging, but uh, we seem we've been able to flourish and uh, make a decent settlement. From, from where we stand now. Um, yeah, so I decided to make a last episode on this to just uh, just to have a little bit of fun, just play around a bit with the game and build a nice little community and see what areas we can, can make use of and um, befriend our factions here. So, you, so the one cool thing about the game is, is that if you are, I think it's, yeah, you know, if you are friends of them or alliance with them, I think that's the highest you can get. Uh, you essentially can take over their little area um and i decided today to make the goal for this video to take over these two settlements um and it's not a taking over in a sense of having to make war against them they just become part of your community your um your little civilization if i can put it like that so decided today let's uh let's do that we've defeated most of our our enemies and at the moment we're just claiming some additional spaces and there's a few side objectives that we can actually get to so yeah, just a fun little relaxing game playthrough that we're gonna do today. So yeah, I'm very excited. So we'll see where we can uh, can take off and uh, plan out our little our little settlement. Right. So there's a few things that uh, we can clear up. I think some of these buildings that we've used for some of the mining purposes and all that we don't really require most of them anymore. I think from a resource perspective we do have enough to 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 cater for that so i'm gonna remove all of the unwanted unwanted buildings and let's see if there's some flat area i think around here we can build like a small little coastal city i think that might actually be really cool so let's do that so let's uh i think it might be nice just to have a few homes on the shoreline over here. Let's try and, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, we will definitely have enough resources for food. Because I, I think the population max, I said it in the previous uh, video, it's, it's around 3,000. Um, I do believe that there's probably some additional stuff that they will do with that population. Because I mean, 3,000 is it's quite a decent amount. And, uh, yeah, I think for for what we what we need, it's it's a bit overkill. But yeah, I guess at the end of the day, we just need to enjoy the game. That's the important part. But for those who are still watching, if you do like this type of content, please do consider liking and subscribing. I am thinking of uh, doing a playthrough for. Uh, I think the game is called Foundation. It's a a lot more relaxed city builder, but it does have a bit more of a challenging um atmosphere to it it's very difficult to get your settlement up and running and making sure that everything is in order but it's it's still super super fun um super entertaining i really enjoyed the game um i haven't really completed it so i think it might be a good little playthrough to to do since uh city builders are probably my most enjoyed type of game so we might uh yeah i think that would be a good a good next one to 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 go for since the pioneers of begonia playthroughs have been quite successful and i'm very thankful for everyone who's been watching it and uh, yeah let's uh build our little settlement here so yeah i think of having some few houses here against the shoreline um i can actually build there yeah let's have the more larger homes closer to ah it's uh it's not gonna look the way that i want it to do but it's okay so let's uh, connect them. So I don't think I don't think there's any aesthetic stuff that you can build at the moment. I do know that with foundation specifically, you can you can build some aesthetically pleasing buildings, which is which is really cool. And I think a small little farmland over here for for um, for some wheat would be cool. 
Yeah, that's the, the one thing with the farmlands. It's it's sometimes a bit annoying to try and decide what you want to place. Well, not not what you want to place, but to the the different um, resources that you want to to select. Since you have to individually select what needs to be produced in that location, it is a bit annoying. So for these ones, I'm not really going to worry too much about the specifics and what yields the most. I'm just going to allow them to, to plant and produce whatever they please. And that should make it a lot easier for us to not have to worry about that. All right, I think that that should be enough. And then from a farm perspective, I think I'm going to build about three. Just need to remember not to build them too close to each other. There we go. So if you build them too close to each other, they the people can't move in between the different buildings, which is a little bit annoying. And a, a bakery, maybe add. Let's add two bakeries over here. And we should be able to also add some molds. There we go. Oh, this is shaping up to look quite decent. And I don't think we will have to build an additional guild hall, but I'm just going to do that for in case. Uh, it's, I can't remember where the guild hall was. Oh, and a construction post here. I can actually build. Let's see if you can build two of them. Awesome. And then where's the guild hall? I can't remember where I put it. I'm I'm really blind. It should be one of these buildings. Ah, oh, there we go. There's the guild hall. Awesome. I think that's a very decent expansion area for this. And I think we need to build some fisheries here as well. That should. It's not super close, but it should be. Should be close enough. Okay, so we found that building there, and I think for these ones, we've actually supplied what we need to, and for this one as well. I don't really know what I get from them, from them though. It's a bit of a an unknown situation. I think it's just mainly some deep, some basic resources that we that we get. Oh, there's a lot of coal here, so I'll need to build some. Quite a few coal mines, yeah. I think we have all of the needed resources to actually cater for them, meaning the the needed tools. And I think yeah, we have twenty five pickaxes, so we we are all settled with that. I think I just need to train a few more construction workers. So like twenty diggers, twenty builders. 20 carriers and these are the construction site carriers so you can build 20 of them as well so shovels and hammers we are doing perfectly fine i just think from a tools perspective yeah it's shovels hammers pickaxes shovels hammers and pickaxes yeah like we we are all settled yeah so we don't need to produce any of the more complex bits and arm bits of pieces of armor and more than enough leather for us here to to make use of awesome uh let's see these guys are still bringing in the stuff and oh, i wanted to create softwood a softwood especially a softwood little area that we can make use of and we should uh, where did we put our military camps oh that's the other thing that i wanted to build it's a nice military area, but I don't think we require that anymore. We have enough people to cater for that. And I'm really thinking of building an additional tavern here around. So I think from a tavern's perspective, we don't we don't have enough. Because most of the most of the people do live in this this small little concentrated area. 
So we might as well expand it just a tad bit. There we go. Oh, this hunting lodge is actually still functioning. That's that's cool. I do believe. Yeah, there's probably not going to be much besides firewood for for them. But that's okay. We don't really need more, and we also will need to build a geologist over here. Because I do believe that there's a lot of resources that we that we might find within these mountain ranges. Um, like we, we found here, this is a massive amount. I think especially here, let's just build one here as well. There's some space for it, there we go. Because I do believe that there's still a lot of stuff over here that we can can discover. So, yeah, abundance of coal, abundance of silver. Seems like most of the silver is, however, almost used up. And these guys should be claiming... Oh, we don't even have any border stones left. <laughs> so that's, that's one interesting thing that we don't have. But cool, it seems like the trade is done for the corn. So let's see what other trades we can get. So, yeah, like I said, they also have copper for silver. They have access for bread. But I think we can start with the free silver. Or maybe the free nickel. I don't think we have a lot of nickel ore. So let's, let's do that. So we can... Uh, yeah, I mean, nickel will just be used for making steel. And yeah, we have a lot of resources here that we can make use of but i think i need to to build a little storage area mainly just for for all of the more re precious resources which i think we can probably do around here so let's do that um so you can use our large i just want to align them so that they're all on next to each other But let's, let's see, so we have iron ore, we have coal, we have, uh, maybe, I don't know if I should just have the processed ones here, because obviously we we will just, it, everything needs to be processed, so we might as well just keep it as processed little section here. So it'd be gold ingots, silver ingots, nickel ingots, iron ingots, and I do believe having coal so be good. Let's do that. Have an entry point here and another one here. So we can then say it's going to be, let's select all of them. And we are going to go to our metal. So it will be iron bars. We select all of them. It will be nickel bars. And this will be steel bars and then we get the precious resources so it's this one gold bars and then silver bars and also coal i forgot about about coal it's gonna fit it somewhere in here there we go and this one will be purely for for coal do I even have any carriers that no all of them are busy I mean, we have, we have a, a lot of construction projects in the works, which is awesome. I really do like it. I think all of our soldiers... Okay, so we we have living quarters for all of the soldiers. Because that's one thing. If your soldiers do not have any living quarters, they'll move into the normal homes. Which isn't, isn't really ideal. Uh, I, guess, I still don't know what we need to do with this. Okay, let's see what trades we can conduct. Maybe we can continue one of these. It does seem like we do have some of those Ashwood Ages and we can start a new trade it for. Yeah, let's start the one where we can actually get the silver ore. That should be that should be great. 
and train a lot of trade carriers because that's going to be one of our more used processes that we need. Let's see, for I don't know who I'm really friends with, I can't remember. Let's see, is there any that wants us to store copper coins? But I don't really like copper coins. I guess I guess we can probably store some of it. Let's uh, just build one specifically for copper coins. Then, I mean, why not? Still, none of these things. I hope I hope they will actually have some implementations for some of these more rare resources that you can can store. That be awesome. Alright, it seems like this little community over here is starting to, to get built, and let's just build some additional homes, so that everybody at least has a place to, to stay. Okay, that, that, seems, that seems good enough. And yeah, this little area should also be a, quite a nice expansion for this coastal city that we have here. Can the road go behind there? It can. Ah, that's awesome. Let's try and do the same here for these guys. Yeah, that looks awesome. So yeah, there's a lot of... I think most of the carriers are probably being used to gather these resources because it is quite quite far away from our main little storage area ah awesome i can uh connect this building as well there we go seems like all of these guys are waiting for the backpacks to come in. I just don't know what they require to be built. Oh, here I can see some soft wood beams and cloth. Yeah, I have more than enough of that. And then this piece of resource that I'm going to also expand. I'm going to try and make this whole area be somewhat residential so that everybody can have their own little boat. Yeah, there's this, this, unfortunately, there's not a, a lot of where are these guards situated at this garrison? Yeah, I can actually remove this garrison. We don't really need the guards anymore. But unfortunately, you can't send them back into normal carriers. Which which I wish which would have been cool, I guess. But uh Yeah, let's see. So they're mining, this is for also for iron. Yeah, so coal is one of the more used resources at the moment. So obviously we need to get all of our ores processed. <laughs> and now we're getting a lot of silver ore as a trade. Which I don't mind actually. It's uh If only we've we've been able to get that a lot sooner and we're getting our nickel ore as well. Border stone, stone, cement, cloth. It, okay, awesome. They're starting to to build out this little area over here, which is fantastic. Let's see what more resources can we get? There's a lot of flak. So the flak is we don't really need flak. Oh wow, well, there's some iron ore here. I completely forgot about it. Can probably build two of them should be should be good enough. And a little bit of silver, a lot of coal here again. So let's uh build some coal huts. Nice. 
So this this also looks like a, a nice area to build some farmland. So I'm going to do that as well. I'm going to try and make it to be wheat and all that as well because we think we have enough. Or maybe I should build either or so they can plant either vegetables or... I mean, there's more than enough space for any of those things to be planted here. So I guess we can decide on that. I think <laughs> I think that's more than enough. Yeah, so let's let's rather build this will be more crop farms. I'm sure there's a little bit of space open. There we go. Yeah, that should be cool. And then you just need to allow them to have enough water. I think that's the one thing that I forgot over here is that they do require a water well. And I think we need to get a vegetable farm area as well. So let's see. Uh, maybe you can have a vegetable farm over here. Let's see what the... Ah, yeah, this is perfect for pumpkins. So let's build a small little vegetable farm. Then I think f in terms of food, we are definitely more than sorted. Vegetable farm, this one. Also gonna try and build around three, that should be enough. Maybe a fourth one. Because why not? And then I think two water wells should be fine close by as well. Maybe uh, even one. Even one should be okay. Yeah, so what are they waiting for? Cannot not producing comfort meals. All residents residents are full. Oh wow! I wasn't expecting that. But that's okay. We are definitely gonna expand more on our housing, so the residents would will no will not be full for for much longer. So let's see how our trades are looking. So we're still waiting for the Ashwood Ages. We are getting, yeah, we are getting some silver ore to be brought in, which is great. It seems like all of the constructions are a bit halted because we don't have the software beams. Um, is this, these things are not built yet. No. Let's prioritize this. And we'll try this guy as well. Maybe I should change one of these foresters to purely plant softwood. Yeah, let me do that. So I, I assume softwood is probably one of the more difficult ones to grow. That's probably why why I don't have any of that. Because every everything needs softwood. Mm, that's that's fairly interesting. Actually. This one will also plant softwood. There you go. So the softwood G. Yes. 
You have become friends with a faction. Hey, nice. I'm very happy about that. Oh, the artifact delivery was completed. That's a very, very good big win. Let's see, fold. Do we still have two trades left? I uh, suggest so for yellow and pink, oh, of course. So this one is, these are all of the finished trades. Okay, so we need friendly for the pink guys. So for yellow, we've already finished most of their trades. Yeah, so we just need to befriend with the pink guys in order for us to occupied no free trading post oh i see that only have one trading post available no they have two but i think both both of them are being used and the other one is being used by one of these ah yes of course bringing them copper coins and we are giving them some weapons as well not that they're really oh, sorry bumped something not that they're really going to be able to use that, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's fine. So this this coal mine we can also get rid of, and yeah, now we just need to to speed things up a bit and wait. So let's also expand our little civilization over here. Just want to see what the Best, yeah, let's put it a little bit higher. That should be cool. And then we can build residencies. There we go. Yeah, so I want to try to build them back to back. So I think that should... Allow me to get the most out of this little area over here. Like such. Now they also require the softwood beams. I'm really sure that I had enough of it. Well, I should have had enough. But yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately that does not seem to be the case at all. Awesome. And we can then expand it upwards. Probably need to build a tavern around here as well. But it does seem like we have enough, enough food in the tavern that we don't really have to worry about it too much. But I do think a, a tavern right here in the middle should be cool. Something like that. And then there's just a few seats or tables. There we go. And then we can place more more buildings, more residential buildings. There we go. Oh, I see this area at the top isn't ideal for really building much of anything. But we should be able to fit in our smaller cottages. Awesome. The smaller cottages are fine. I think I think they actually use okay, they also use softwood. Yeah, no, that's that's interesting. So these guys are just getting rabbits. Okay. 
because I don't really want to build too many. Okay, we are getting some software around here. It does seem to be the case. Let's see how our trades are looking. It's looking, yeah, it's looking good. I just think our output storage is full. I'm looking at the wrong place. Yes, we're getting in a lot of nickel. And we probably need to get our storage areas to be done. So let's see which ones are the nickel ones. This one. So let's prioritize this one. Let's speed things up a bit and uh, see how our storage areas are being built. And uh, let's see how this little village is looking. But I think, yeah, they're also a bit behind because of the, the softwood trunks miss being missing. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of builders and all that coming in. So soon we will definitely have a, a, a nice, a nice little village. So let's see. Okay, so they're bringing in the beams and the cloth, which is awesome. Yeah, sorry, this episode might not be the most entertaining one of the bunch. Uh, there's not really much happening. I just wanted to have a nice relaxing episode as well just to enjoy enjoy the last bits of the game I mean, we're so close we'll be basically done so we might as well just uh, finish off what we've started yeah so now it's a little bit of a waiting game unfortunately oh okay so boulders are incoming all of the needed resources are being brought. Let's see, okay, so some of our carriers are idle. So as soon as we get we get all of the resources it will be taken to the needed locations immediately, which is which is good. Having to wait for things to happen because you don't necessarily have the resources lying around everywhere. It is quite annoying. But I mean, they still have to go and fetch it. Ugh, they're waiting for everything. Don't worry, we'll soon have all of the needed softwood beams, don't you worry. I'm really considering... Building some woodcutters huts here. I think I am going to do that. Let's do this. Let's build two foresters. Oh, wow, this game, when the game auto saves, it lags quite a bit. And it's uh, pure soft with it and not a sawmill. A woodcutting hut. Let's build a few of them here as well. So I do believe there should be quite a decent amount of softwood here that we can that we can use, and they require that also require softwood to be built. But let's I'm gonna prioritize them. Okay, we got all of the coal already. Man, these guys are quick. Connect up this area here. Can I connect them up here as well? Okay. Just to shorten the walking distance. Mm. 
there we go. Okay, it seems like our forest is almost done. Let's go back to our trades. What are they waiting for, though? I have no clue what these guys are waiting for at all. I think I, I think I already have a storage for... I do not. So let's build a small storage area here just to add weapons and add the magic blades. Because there's one trade that I do see that we will need the magic or get magic blades from them. Oh, here comes all of the... Uh... Oh, I guess the trader's camp is just full. All of the nickel is incoming. But it, it's getting... it's get gets taken away as soon as we, we get it. Trade finished. What? Which trade is finished? This one. No, I don't want to cancel that trade. I'm allies with them. Oh, I still I hope you can take them into your your colony as, as far as I understand that should be possible yeah so let's just wait for these last two bits of nickel to come in and then we will start another trade with them All right, so that trade seems to be finished. So we can stop that. Oh, yeah, we can see Ashwood is 90% towards being an alliance. Okay, that's cool. So let's start with the, the free blades that we can get. So we should be able to... Yeah, we should be able to get those blades quite quickly. I guess we will just have to wait for their people to bring it to their needed location and then we can get it. Alright, so let's go see how the other settlements are being built up. What's these guys' problem? No, they're not even connected to the road network. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's definitely my fault. <laughs> I didn't even notice that I forgot to do that. Alright, so the expedition camp also needs just the last few softwood beams. We're very close to finishing off that one as well. Hey! That's awesome. I, well, according to this, I won. You are friends with all the Baconian villagers on the island. Nice. That's awesome. But we're almost, almost done. I do believe you can... Like I said, you can... If I think you have to do all of the trades. Ah, oh, here we go. Merge with faction. So, let's do it. You've merged with one of the factions. That's super, super awesome. Now we can connect our roads to them. And they are essentially now part of us. 
it's like I said, it's 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 not not in the sense that you are totally taking over their territory. You just they just merge with yours because you you freed them from all of the dangers of the island. So now we just need to get the the Ashwood folk to become our ally, and then uh, yeah, then we will be. In a very, very good spot. Let's just build a guard tower here. No, oh, I don't think it's needed. It's already one there. Ah, oh, but it's fine. I'll just build another one. So I think our population did jump. So you can see it did jump by about 500. Which is a quite a quite a decent amount. So I think the the final trades is probably the ones that we that we need to finish. Yeah, I think this output storage is full. So we we're not really taking in all of the the silver ore. No man, this is not what I built this one for. I purely built it for nickel. And just nickel, nothing else. I don't understand why they thought it'd be a good idea to store anything else there. We'll find a location to set, store some arbitrary Stuff. Let's do it here at the very point. But you see, this is going to cause a lot of traffic again. But that's fine. We have a lot of stuff. So we can... We can store all of that stuff here then. Not going to look the prettiest. Oh, well, I can't put it there. Nice. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to build like a sub route <laughs> for those ones. And something like that. Yeah. That should be fine. Oh damn. Threw out something on my table. There we go. Alright, so we we've claimed most of the area. I think there's a tiny little bit here on the right that we need to claim and a little bit here. So Yeah, I mean we might as well. We do have all of the resources, and I think, yeah, now my game isn't running great at all. Seems like all of the resources that we are trying to store, I don't know what they're really trying to do. Yeah, no, they're doing some interesting, interesting stuff. <laughs> it's the bunch of stuff that they're storing that we are not using. Okay. So from this end, it seems like these guys are starting to to really uh, to get the hang of things. And this area here at the bottom still needs to be built. Yeah, so these cottages are still not in the best of situations. It does seem, however, we're still waiting for the foresters to to really do something and. Yeah, these softwood areas are quite struggling, but I'm just gonna set these guys to only chop down the trees once they are fully grown. Because this should also prevent um you know all of the trees not growing. Because if you chop it down when it's fully grown, it'll automatically spawn little small trees around. So yeah, at the end of the day that should be 
should be the best approach. I just don't know why I'm struggling with all of the silver being stored over here. So let's just to become friends with them a bit quicker because that's what I want to do and merge them in. So we'll set that to just take in take in uh, silver ores. How much silver ore do we have? Um, 64, so yeah, I think it has an input and output and that's probably why we can't really get more of it at the moment. And it's actually super easy to build these small little storage areas. Let's uh, hope we don't cause too many traffic. I don't think I can build a road around. I, I probably can, yeah. Let me do this. Build a little mountain road. Oh, I can't actually. That's interesting. Though, though it makes it makes sense. Oh, I, I made a mistake here where I placed these buildings. And I do like this layout as well. Let's just deliver goods. Recruit. Elite guards and store water. Oh. Okay, fine. So that's probably some of the goals that we need to get to. So let's store water. Oh, where can I? Ah, uh, here we go. Store water. And let's see what we need for elite elite guards so we need to build chain mail and a halberd how many elite guards do i need 30. okay that's fine so we need to produce these things so let's produce 30 of that and what else do they need um Chain mail. There we go. And we can put them back back in order. I was comp I missed that entirely. And saws. How much rules do they need? 40. Okay, so let's create 20 at each. Yeah. <laughs> I completely missed that. Because obviously, yeah, if we want to allow them to become our ally you will have to fulfill their wishes actually also got got a lot of soft boot trunks now I think this was a success then. Because from a soft dude trunk perspective, we have a lot. So we will be sorted with that. I want to, want to be focused in the very center of the minimap. So let's just speed things up a bit. And uh, yeah, we'll have to 
just to wait a tad bit for everything to to run and then we should soon become best friends. Awesome. So these uh, guys will now start bringing in the silver and storing it. No, don't go pick those one up. Do the trades, please. Yes. Oh, great. Okay, so they are actually... No, actually picking it up at the correct location. Man, that's that's really so much silver. Now they're just waiting. I assume these are the last bits of silver. Yeah, so the trade should be f is finished according to them. As soon as that is done, our status with them should be increased. There we go. Let's see what else we can do. Oh, they want the saws. Oh, she said it's one of the goals, deliver goods. They want specifically to have the souls. And then training the elite gods. Yeah, so it's 25%, so it'll bring us up to 45. That will bring us up to 60, yeah, 60%. Yeah, so we have to complete all three of those requirements. So yeah, I'm gonna let that run for a bit and until we get all of the souls and then I will get back before we actually merge with them and uh, do the final sign off for this playthrough. All right, so we... Uh successfully made an alliance with the what's these guys called again uh what's their name Ugh, why can't i see their name anymore i think i need to go on a specific trade to see them oh, i can't see what what their name is but oh the ashwood folk we are now an alliance with them as well they are an ally and uh with that said we can now merge with them so click on merge there we go we have then merged with the very last faction um, that was on our island and uh, yeah we are now part of the the small little civilization so uh, yeah I think that is it for this pioneers of Begonia playthrough I think we've really made a quite a decent success of it our small little area here is coming on quite nicely and I think this one is actually finished. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm very happy with how everything progressed. And uh, yeah, I think that's that's going to be it. And uh, thank you very much for everybody who watched this, this whole series. I really, really appreciate it. It's been doing really well. This hasn't been the most entertaining episode of it. But yeah, I think it was just, to, like I said earlier, to... Just play around and relax and uh, just enjoy the game for what it is. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode. Cheers.